So this is my Queen's Etco League character. I've just died to a conquer all his me on level 89 because I'm bad mostly and I don't use logout macros. Uh, this is a really good character. I feel like you can go much higher deeps and defense if you want it. I'm currently using the Lancing Blows with mostly high block and Tempest Shield, so I get 40 spell block. We're using Tassalio Cleansing Water, we have a bunch of life on tree, and I'm using Lorive. You can divide it up the maximum rest to 78, so we get all 78. My cold res is kind of fucked right now because I started craft this ring. When I got to standard, but then I remember I want to make a video about it. So this is the only thing that I've changed so far. Uh, one problem with this build that I found is kind of hard to gear for accuracy. So I'm in, I'm anointing death perception here. It's this one it gives crit and dex dex to give more ac accuracy and crit, so you can proc tempest shield, uh, critical strike, so you can proc element overload. So we cur currently we have 25% chance to crit with Tempest Shield, so it's up really most of the time. We are using Seismic Cry, Intimidating Cry for clear. And on bosses we use Infernal Cry, we use Wave of Conviction and bam, slam, right? So the clear speed is not that great. Uh, the cost of the build is like, I don't know, maybe 6 exalts. The only expensive thing here is the, the body armor and the phrase breakers with elemental weakness and the exalt on that league was like 30 KOs, so it's not that much. The this is one KOs, one KOs, it's everything pretty pretty cheap. Now this I paid a little bit more because it's kinda hard to get them on the new league. But yeah, so this is pretty much the character. We have a bunch of life. My gear has little life, so 42, 65, 55, and yeah, so y you can go like to 7k pretty easily once you start gearing correctly. Uh, I've had plans to change this for a good armor shield with life, uh, chance to avoid ailments. So yeah, the tree, there is nothing much to it, you just grab life everywhere and block so life this is a really good node to help with elemental res and spell block we get some flat jewels with some flat fish so we have this then we go here i i really like this because it has a chance to avoid and you can pick up wind dancer if you want to go kind of hybrid with the hybrid shield and i don't know some hybrid gear it, it can be a, an extra layer of defense and you can you know you can be pretty tanky as well because of the the chieftain stuff you have perma endurance charges you can grab more endurance charges here here and here so yeah you can if we play on soft core drop some life drop some defense and then just go all in you can even go crit with this build but since it was on a new league so let's just see how the character was I'm doing an old T12 red map that I had lying around in standard. As you can see, this is, I don't know, kind of hand on. I have a bunch of tabs, so yeah, I'm on standard now. Use Batman. So yeah. Ivory Temple. Yeah, this is decent enough. Let's see how I do on bosses. So the clear speed for this character, you want to have low attack speed so there's a unique ring that gives a bunch of flat fees and reduce attack speed that's pretty good for the build i wasn't using it because you know i want to get more life on my gears on my ring so but that's pretty good so you have fist of war up most of the time and as you can see my gem is not leaving 1120 you can go much more damage uh the one thing i, I would do here is drop some life and get area nodes so it can help a little bit more with uh, clear speed, but since since I was on hardcore, you know, I was not really bothering that much with clear speed. As you can see, you just one shot, slam most of the packs. 
and my plan was to get a uh, herald burn burning of herald of ash i'm sorry herald of ash an uh, alternate quality so there's one that gives you six percent more damage burning damage and that's insane to to help with the clear speed but it gives a little bit less of area of effect so you just link that with some area as you can see i have some mana unreserved you can even use that 10 percent aura blood and sand if i remember correctly so yeah there's a lot of room for me maxing here i was just gathering currency on the league and i probably won't start again i think my death is a pretty good queue so i can study and drop the league right now so do some ethical studying you know so yeah as you can see against packs pretty pretty simple you just war cry punch so let's go, go straight to the boss and yeah you, you want to have your intimidating crying up most of the time that's why we go here so you can have one extra one extra exerted attack that's pretty important and you won't have to keep war crying every single time because you already have to war cry too much in my opinion so yeah i don't even know why i'm picking loot I'm just deleting this character soon. Use Batman. But okay, let's find the boss room. I don't like this map layout. I don't even know how to. Well, well there, there it is. There it is. So, yeah. Let's go. So, how I set up for the boss is just like 3 3, right? So, we go here. We cover him in Ash. Then. There's the boss. Wow, did no damage. Absolutely no damage. Why? So yeah, there's maybe you miss attacks. Usually <laughs> the damage is pretty higher than that. Let me just I don't know. Maybe this boss has too much resistance. But as you can see, oh wow. As you can see I, I can tank everything for a little bit wow okay <laughs> uh let's try another boss maybe a non resistance one because i think that that fight didn't really do justice to the build well whatever i think you you guys get the point i get like almost 1.5 million dps with nagaham nagmahu i don't even know how to say that uh, up so I didn't do that on the boss fight. You want to wait, you wait the Nagamahu to get up, then you war cry, wave of conviction, and bam, blam. Then you do the same thing a second after because of the fist of war. Then you repeat so you have time to set up your flask. Basically, it's almost two million damage with everything lined up. If you lost an endurance charger, that you lose with immortal call. So this is not really a guide, I just wanted to show off my 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 build for this league, I really like this league, um, thanks to Queen, to, you know, this is my first hardcore character and, uh, and I've enjoyed very much, so it was really fun, and yeah, that's it, if you have any doubts, any questions, feel free to ask, and as I said, the build is very flexible, you can do a lot of stuff with it. There's a lot of room you can drop this whole tree if you get full avoidance here. You can drop this hole to get this whole points. It's a lot of points. You can get like here. That's my plan, dropping that so I can go here. You know? So yeah, it just depends on how much gear you have, how much money you wanna waste. I don't grab this because of lore weave. Um yeah, let's so I can finish the video, see if I have a divine here. Oh nine divines. And bam. That's that's bad, isn't it? Yeah, okay, I want to be 78, come on. 78. Well oh, that's shit. Very shit. Almost no life. Come on. Come on. 78, no life. Wow. That's so bad. 
Well, yeah, today's not my day. I died. I couldn't hit a single good roll. Maybe, maybe? No? No? 78? Come on. Nope. So, yeah. <laughs> you can min max your chest. And Lord Reeve is a must in this build. And yeah, that's it.